what's going on YouTube it's black locust matters time so I picked up this load yesterday and there's a little bit of red oak in here but I was upset about the cuts because I was telling the tree cutter you know for the dozenth time that I need 16 inch so what he figured was to cut everything above 16 inch so so half of what I cut in here is all gonna be cutoffs so you see like this one for example like about there a 16 inch so then I'm gonna have a cutoff at the end right and that's like a big waste I can throw it in my bin here uh, my boiler wood bin going out to my customers for bulk orders but it just means a lot more cutting for me and I actually get less money for this wood than firewood so it doesn't really work out for me you know what I mean but I can use some of the cutoffs myself for the wood stove at the shop and heat my place with it and I'm really trying to stock up on more wood because I have a bunch for this year but I have to stock up for next year I need a bit more I got a few crates that can still take some more wood probably about three or four so I'll keep some of this stuff to bring back but I don't really like the smell of this stuff when you're burning it so you know I don't really like keeping it but it's good efficient heat and that's the main thing you got to think about right so anyways let's get the saw and cut this stuff up so because of this is a lot of straight wood I'm going to be able to pile a lot up on this pile for the splitter when the YouTube viewer comes to visit and brings his splitter I've started this pile here and I'm going to add a bunch to this too and you know me I'm picky about my wood and you know having all the same wood in the same spot so there's already tons of black locust in here I've already been swamped you could see a lot of that pile over here in the back is black locust then a lot of this stuff here on top too so there's going to be a lot more added to these piles but I already have a bunch in here too I just had a call from one of my customers today the guy who's buying this six cord load it's not quite six cords yet but it will be very shortly now I told him to ask around if anybody has a wood boiler so that they could buy the wood and then he just called me like an hour ago and he said oh yeah I have somebody who's gonna buy the wood so he's gonna contact him and get a confirmation I told him the price I told him that most of it is not seasoned and I gave him a price including delivery so let's get out the saw and let's get to it
guys. I can't believe it. I cut the whole load of wood. Usually I cut a bunch of it. I have to split some, do some cleanup, and then go back and do some more cutting after. But I was able, for some reason, to cut the whole pile. Like Chris in the wood yard stuff. and wheelbarrows and wheel it over to the low area in the driveway to fill it in but look at that nice and clean otherwise and this pile here what that's almost like I guess that's a third of a face board I'm gonna come in with the single wedge splitter and split all of this a lot of this stuff is too small to go in the big machine it'll just make you know two smaller pieces and you still have some chafe right so no sense wasting time with some of those smaller ones in there and even if I took some of those and put them in the beast, then it'd be too meticulous trying to line them up in the right place so that they split properly, right? But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, share, comment, and all that good stuff.